Let's evaluate this op amp circuit. Now, assuming the op amp to be ideal, it is required to design the circuit to implement a current amplifier with a gain IL over II equal to 11. Let's find the required value for R. So since the op amp is ideal and it's a negative feedback, it's gonna draw no current. So we can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the first loop. So we can take 10 kilo ohms times II. Remember voltage is equal to the resistance times the current. And we can add to that II minus IL, these two, and multiply that by R, and that has to equal zero. Now we need to get R by itself. So by rearranging the equation, we get R is equal to 10 K ohms times I sub I, all over I sub L minus I sub I. Let's try to cancel out this I sub I in the numerator. So we can take out an I sub I in the denominator, and now we can cancel out both of these I sub I's. Now we're left with R is equal to 10 kilo ohms over I sub L over I sub I minus one. We know the value for I sub L over I sub I, that's 11. So now we have 10 K ohms over 11 minus one. That's gonna give us a value for R of one kilo ohm. And that's our R value. Next, let's find the input and output resistance of the current amplifier. So for the input resistance, we'll call that R sub I. That's gonna be equal to the input voltage over the current input. Now for an ideal operational amplifier, the voltage of the inverting terminal, that's gonna be this negative terminal and that's where our V sub I lives, is going to be equal to the voltage of the non-inverting terminal, the positive side. And since we have a virtual ground, our input voltage will be zero volts. So our input voltage is going to be zero volts over I sub I, which just gives us a resistance of zero. Now for the output resistance, we'll call that R sub O. That's gonna be equal to VO over IO, output current. Now, side note, the output current is equal to negative I sub L. It's gonna be opposite this current up here. And I sub L is equal to R over R plus R sub L times the input current, I sub I. So our output current is gonna be this, but negative. So now we have output resistance is equal to the output voltage over negative R over R plus R sub L times the input current. We already sort of know the value of I sub I, the input current. If we rearrange what we have up here, we know that our input current is equal to input voltage over input resistance. Because our input voltage is zero, this is zero, and the entire value of the input current is just zero. So now we have output resistance is output voltage over, well, this is zero, so that's gonna make everything in the denominator zero, output voltage over zero, and anything over zero, that's gonna be infinity. So we have infinite output resistance. Now for this next part of the problem, 
if R sub L has a value of 1k ohms and the op amp operates in an ideal manner as long as output voltage is in range of positive to negative 12 volts, what range of the input current is possible? Let's start by first applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in the outer loop. So we'll start with 10k ohms times the input current plus R sub L times I sub L plus the output voltage and we'll set that to zero. We'll substitute 1000 ohms in place of R sub L. Next, let's factor out an I sub I out of this portion here. So we'll divide both terms by I sub I. So now we get I sub I times 10k ohms plus 1k ohms times I sub L over I sub I. Remember I sub L over I sub I is equal to 11. You know what? I forgot the output voltage. Make sure you keep track of your terms so you don't miss anything. So keeping this in mind, we can rewrite this as input current times 10k ohms plus 1k ohm times 11 plus output voltage, don't forget that, is equal to zero. Now let's rearrange the equation to get the input current by itself. That's going to give us input current is equal to negative output voltage over 21,000 ohms. That 21,000 ohms came from this portion here. So now we can substitute our output voltage with our range, negative 12 volts and positive 12 volts. So that gives us a range of negative 12 volts over 21,000 ohms to positive 12 volts over 21,000 ohms. So the possible range of the input current goes from negative 0.571 milliamps up to positive 0.571 milliamps. Okay, and now for the last part. If the amplifier is fed with a current source having a current of 0.2 milliamps and a source resistance of 10,000 ohms, find I sub L. Okay, so we're given our input current value of 0 0.2 milliamps, which is in the possible range it can be in. Let's write the expression for the current gain of the amplifier. That's gonna be I sub L over I sub I is equal to 11 amps over amps. Remember, this is our current gain from the first part of the problem. So we'll substitute 0.2 milliamps for input current. And now all we have to do is multiply both sides by 0.2. And that gives us a current value of 2.2 milliamps. So that's all the problems we're going to do with this op amp circuit. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.